Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second video in the series. So in the first video, we introduced the thin lens terminology. Please check it out if you need a refresher on that. In this video, we are going to analyze the image of an object that is located outside the focal point of a converging lens using two techniques, ray tracing, and then obviously the thin lens equation, right? So before we begin, please like, subscribe, and share on your social media. And let us know what you think in the comments. So let's begin. So usually objects are drawn as arrows like this. Here is the lens. We have to definitely have the optical axis, with the two focal points right here. And here I put the object at 10 units. Again, units is not, are not important right now but let's just make sure that they're all in the same units. And the focal length is six units, okay? So the object is clearly outside the focal point, okay? Now, this object is emitting rays in all direction at every point of the object, okay? But the convention or the technique is to just look at the tip and the tail. The tail obviously any rays emitted from the tail is going to go on this axis here somewhere, either on this side or that side, but they're going to stay on the axis, okay? You're not going to see the tail of, of the, of the uh, arrow over here somewhere, like this maybe, or like this. You're not going to see that. The tail will stay on the optical axis, but the tip, the tip has light coming in from all directions, okay? And some of them are going to go through the lens. Of the ones that go through the lens, okay, three are of important uh, of of importance to us. Okay, from these three, we can get a very good idea where the image is going to be. All right. So the first one, it says that's the first ray. These are called the principal rays. A ray coming parallel to the optical axis exits the lens to the focal point, okay? So let's see if we can pick that color, maybe right here. So from the tip, again, remember, rays are going in all directions. There is one ray that is going to be parallel to the optical axis, like so. But when it hits the lens, it exits the lens through the focal point. Here's the other focal point. So now we have to make sure that we draw it straight and it exits the lens through the focal point. That is the first ray, okay? Again, three principal rays. The second one in green, it says, the ray going through the center of the lens continues. So it doesn't bend, it doesn't do anything. Here's the center of the lens. So a ray going from the tip through the center will continue, okay? So let's fix that one a little bit, maybe make it longer. There you go, okay? Usually you use an eraser, I mean, uh, an eraser, uh, uh, a ruler, and you draw these out, okay? So on this one goes like this. And then the third one in, orange, a ray coming in through the focal point exits the lens parallel to the optical axis. So let's go to orange. Mm, it's not here, but I'll use the closest, maybe this one. So here's the focal point. You got to go through it. And then I go parallel to the optical axis. Okay. So these three rays the green, the orange, and the blue meet up at this point right here. In other words, this is where my image, the tip, this point right here, imaged over here. That's its image. And of the tail, you're going to remember a ray going through the center of the lens exits the lens undeflected. So if we have a ray coming in from the tail, comes in, goes through the center, keeps going, 
it's not going to be, it's going to be over here. So this is the tip. The tail is going to be here. And that's going to be my image like this. And that's where the image will be. That's where we'll see the image. Okay. So roughly, let's count how many units we have. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the image, the distance to the image is 15 units. And its height, let me see here, HO here is 3 units. And here HI is 1, 2, 3, 4, roughly 4 and a half. units. And again, remember from sign convention, the object was to the left of the focal of, of the uh, lens. So it's positive 10 units. This is a converging lens. So the focal length is plus or positive six units. The height of the object, the object was pointing up. It's three units. And since the light actually goes through the image over here. See the light beams focus, I mean, again, go through this point right here and they continue. And again, every point here, 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 will have its image here, here, there. Again, each will emit three rays, will emit many rays. But if we were to do the three principal rays for each of these points, they will have their images over here. So basically light actually goes through that image. So it's a real image. Here's HI. So it's going to be a negative, right? Because it's pointing down. Okay. And it's going to be 4.5 units. Again, all the negative says it's pointing down. Okay. Opposite to what the object is, which is pointing up. But it's real because light goes through it. Okay. And again, this is just hand drawing. What I did here was I used the rays, you know, the drawing tool. And these are the, again, parallel ray, ray through the center, and then a ray through the focus exits parallel. And they meet over here, 15 units, roughly 4.5 centimeters long going the other way. Okay, so here what we have is, again, a real image, inverted, inverted, and then magnified, right? If this is three units, this is 4.5 units, again, absolute value, it's, it's uh, one and a half times as large as that one. Right? So, this is great. Now, can we verify this? Can we get some matching results using the thin lens equation? Okay? So, again, let's go back and see what we have. We have DO is 10 units, and F is 6 units, and HO is 3 units. That's all that's given to us. DI and HI and the magnification, all of that has to be computed from these. So let's go ahead and start doing that, okay? So thin lens equation, let's begin with that. So the thin lens equation is one over F equals one over DO plus one over DI. I'm given the distance image, I'm given the focal length, and now I'm supposed to find the image distance. So I need to solve for di. First thing we do is we isolate di. So bring this over to this side. So one over f minus one over do equals one over di. Here on the left, we can get a common denominator, f do. So we cross multiply like this and like that. Right? I don't want to write over here, so this and that. So basically, we will have DO minus F over F times DO 
is 1 over di. And now that we have two fractions, we flip them both. Let's rearrange. Let me put it up there. Just swap them so it looks more convenient. There you go. So remember, f equals 6, do equals 10. So di equals f, which is 6, times 10 over 10 minus 6, 60 over 4, which is 15 units. Okay, again, these are units. Just right now, I don't care if they're meters, centimeters, millimeters, inches. And this is what we got when we did the ray tracing. The image was located at 15 units. And since it's a plus 15 units, then the image is real. Okay, you got a real image. Light actually goes through that image. Okay. So this verified the um, ray tracing. Let's do the magnification. Magnification. M is negative di over do, which is negative di is 15 over do, which is negative 1.5. Okay. So what this one, what, what the negative sign of the magnification says is that the image is 1.5 times as large as the object, and it is inverted, opposite to the object. That's what this is saying. So I have an inverted image. Inverted, real image. And let's see if we can verify the height. So remember, also the magnification was given in terms of the height of the image over the height of the object. And the magnification was negative 1.5. HI, I'm looking for it. The height of the object was three. So HI, if I solve for HI, is three multiplied negative 1.5 or negative 4.5 units. And that's how we measured. We measured 4.5 units pointing down. That's what the negative is. The negative is down. So the image, if you want to summarize things, real, inverted, 15 units, to the right of the lens and 4.5 times as large as the object. Uh, sorry, 1.5 times. 1.5 times as large as object, which is basically 4.5 units. Okay. So now we have a good understanding about the image, given just the location of the object, the focal length, and the height of the object. Ray tracing, match the image equation, match the magnification. Okay. So this is it for this video. In the next video, 
we're going to analyze the image of the object located inside the focal point. So we're going to bring the object closer to the lens inside the focal point and look at what kind of image we get. Again, thank you for joining us in this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.